So today I'm heading to actually Audi showroom. Yes, I'm going to take a delivery of Audi S5, the sports car. Of course not me, I'm not buying it, but a good friend of mine who is buying it. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of this car and I'm gonna test drive, but that's not the video main motto. The guy who is buying it, my friend, he's a new immigrant to the country. Like He's been a few years here, now crushing it, making good money. He is now a mortgage agent, but he started as a bank teller. So we're gonna find out his story, how he, you know, got step by step in the game, how much is he making now, what's his story? Okay, let's go. Video. Yeah. Out. Yeah. 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 Oh man, that would be this nice. guy sells that would that would be that would be nice and easy. <laughs> You know, back home when we drive, it's all yeah. uh, gear up, gear, right? yeah. so it, it, it's a nice feeling because nowadays everything is like just a button. So 0 to 100 kilometers an hour is 4.3 seconds. And how much is the Tesla? 5. Yeah. So how much is the key? You know, that's a nice. Yeah. Look at this. Nice. Tesla versus <laughs> RDS 5. If you want the race, maybe come in below. Yeah. <laughs> important guy for Win City who is man behind the scenes who is our mortgage guy <laughs> that's that's uh, Aditya you yeah. know uh, the reason we are doing this vlog because you know this guy is doing something amazing yeah. and uh, what's that amazing work that you're doing so what are you doing now um, how many people are you helping every month every... approximately if you have an idea so since I started working with Win City, mm -hmm. I have now so far 73 sets of five. Five months, 73. So yes. like more than 10 transactions. Yes. So more than 10 people you're doing mortgages for. Yes. So I mean, you know, the number speaks. Yes. That's why that's why the car makes sense, right? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, you know, I want to do the backward engineering. Yes. See, did your dad give you money to buy all no, this? No, no, never, never. I, I never asked my parents for money, even in school, like never. So all, all this is Always, from yeah. your pocket. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Aditya. Yes. Aditya. Tell us your story. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I came here in 2014 uh, as an uh, international student. I went to Sheridan College. In, Sheridan College in, in Misada. Oh, okay. So, so you were in to, Toronto. Yeah. I did the business course there, business accounting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always had a knack for numbers. So always, mm -hmm. I always loved numbers. My my family is like from a business background. And uh, numbers guy. Always like numbers. Numbers appease me a lot. I am 27 now. Okay. Not too old from you, like I said. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so then uh, I graduated, and uh, the first job uh, that I had uh, I was always in sales. Mm -hmm. So I worked for Bell Canada first as a starter sales job at kiosks. So okay. like uh, you know, like Bell TV, Bell Internet. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to be at kiosks inside like grocery stores and work there. Okay. Uh, and then I moved on to Freedom Mobile, like Wind. So still sales? Like still sales. They used to yeah. pay any like base salary or just completely uh, on Mix. Based? It was a mix. Commission and so salary. So what made you to go in there? Into sales? Well, I understood sales. I, I could talk to people. Mm -hmm. uh, that was one thing which is which is important. Um, funny enough, like I was an introvert when I came to the country, so talking to people <laughs> was always a challenge for me. But then, uh, uh, but when I was in a work setting, I never found it to be a problem. It mm -hmm. was just like uh, social outings was a problem. Gotcha. And, and then I and used that sales. To and those sales overcome. are like not outdoor sales. You just need to be indoor. Both mix, indoor oh, so and okay. outdoor. It was a bit hard to find a job in GTA, and the main reason I'm in Windsor was because of my employer. Mm. 
so people usually go the opposite way yeah. they're like they find a job in gta instead of being in uh, in 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 windsor right they move out i moved into windsor because of the job and uh, since then i've been in banking and finance what are you doing now and you know how much is this car <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have to ask i mean this is the second i wouldn't say second third largest purchase after my two houses this car was just shy of 100000 yeah pretty much my tesla price yeah, i, I yeah. actually just saw the yeah, i uh, <laughs> i still get cold feet when i say that price and my my legs are shivering <laughs> but yes yes this was uh, it, it was a long time and and i wanted to do something for myself after mm -hmm. years and then i'm like let's let's go do it I mean, you know, I I, I don't think you did it uh, just blindly no. because you have a, some confidence There's in your finances now. There's a lot of math going now. on behind you. Yes. <laughs> Take on to the EC road. Yes, and then when you go, keep pushing. You feel the car grip like rails. Once you hit the line, we'll do this and then we'll talk about the discussion. Yes. Yeah, we don't want to fail any other charges. <laughs> <laughs> so you're do, you're doing uh, Bell Canada and all this sales, Freedom Mobile. Then how did you get into banking? Well, uh, I was always a business accounting student, and like every student, mm -hmm. uh, I needed to get a work permit yeah. to get to my PR. So I got my work permit post graduation, and then I the, then the job hunt starts. That's when the grunt starts, yeah. right? Oh, so those Bell Canada and they were all those, as a student. Oh, as a part timer. Yes. Damn, that's that's a very good way. If you're a student, honestly, that's my solid advice. Go get those kind of jobs because you know, honestly, they will teach you what like all the sales skills. Yeah. That's very powerful in this country. Go ahead. Yeah, I uh, started uh, looking for jobs, and then finally I ended up with uh, Scotia Bank, which is my current employer. So you like Scotia was your first bank that, that you started. That was the first bank I started with. Yeah. And that's the first job. That time. is the first job, and I still stuck. So what did you started as? Uh, I started as a financial advisor. And that's um, like your first entry level. That was job. my first entry level job. At that point, I didn't know what a mortgage was. So you started as a financial advisor. Like, was it a salary base or was it a? So there was a salary with a mix of a bonus. I, I got my PR and then went more into management okay. in the bank. So before that, like you know, for someone who is just starting out, right? Like you know, mm -hmm. would you advise you know just get their mortgage license and do the sales directly, so, or would you just advise go through the process that you went through? So the good part about being a mortgage guy with the bank mm -hmm. is you don't need a license. Okay. So the bank, if even if you need any licenses, the bank pays for it. Got you. So it's a good way to get through, and especially when you're just starting, if you're a bit nervous and you're not sure if you know you'll be able to make it in sales, mm -hmm. uh, there's at least a base salary. And yeah. before you become a mortgage agent, mm -hmm. how long you've been in the CAB in the Scotia? Um, before I became a mortgage agent, I've been with the bank about five and a half years. Five and a half years, and you started as a financial advisor, and then you moved up in your ladder, right? Yes. So what what were you doing after the financial advisor? So I, I was a financial advisor, then I became a senior financial advisor, mm -hmm. uh, so dealing with more high value clients. Mm -hmm. Then I went into management because the goal at the end of the day was always to own a business. Okay. And you cannot own a business if you don't know how to manage people. I'm like, well. I can either start my business myself and struggle to find out how to manage people, or mm -hmm. I can let the bank pay me for managing people and learning at learning the same time. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. I started managing people, but then uh, about a year later, I always had the love for doing mortgages. That was always a thing I really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, I uh, I couldn't do mortgages as a manager. Gotcha. So I could train people, but I couldn't do them myself. So they. Kicked you out of the mortgage side. Correct. So when you are a financial advisor, you can do the mortgage. Correct. And you get some kickback. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. So you went into managing like now. So you are like managing the branch, the whole branch, or like correct. The, the whole branch, like the oh. cashiers, the tellers. At the, the age of twenty-five now. Twenty-six. Yeah. Twenty-five, twenty-six. Yeah, about there. And then. Damn, okay. Uh, uh, I was the youngest manager in Windsor. Wow. Yeah. So that was uh, that was a big feat. And uh, the next step for me was being a branch manager. But then I took a step back. Mm -hmm. I really liked interacting with people still, mm -hmm. and I and I couldn't let go. I'm, I'm, maybe down the road that changes. But right now, I could feel from inside that I have to do mortgages. I cannot not do mortgages. Right? Like it's like a daily thing. Yeah. You know, you brush your teeth, you eat your breakfast. You have to do a mortgage. That yeah. No. Thing, you right? know, I feel the same way. Like with the sales, right? Yeah. Like, you know, I, I, many people ask me like, do you still, you know, do sales and this? And I love 
you know, going well, through this, well, going, through the process, going yeah. through the process, uh, it's hard to let go. And now with the team, I'm slowly letting it go to some extent. Yeah. But still, you know, when I don't have anything, yeah. I, I feel like, you know, something is missing because that's something we all, I, at least I started with. I, I enjoy the process being in there. Yeah. Man, that's so far, it's a very interesting story. Honestly, yeah. like, you know, I... I, I hear from so many people, oh, I want to become this, I want to become that, but I don't want to put my time in there to learn. So you're in this bank for five years, you're as a financial advisor, senior and the manager. So now you understand like whole the how the bank... The system, yeah. Yeah. Since you started like from last nine months, mm -hmm. how many transactions you think you did? I said uh, about 80. 80, okay. 80. Also, Vincent is the one who gave you the most. I told you, credit goes to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, your team keeps me busy to an extent where <laughs> I can't, I don't have time. <laughs> to, for other people. Yeah. So. No, I mean, you know, look, there is a reason why yeah. you know, um, I, ha I, 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 I like people who make things happen, right? Yeah. Like, you know, I told you even when we initially met, right? Like, I think we didn't do any transactions for first one, two months. No, we didn't. Then when there was a situation arise where I need some help, someone could not do, I said, I'll give you a chance. If you prove it, I'll give you more. Yeah. Because, you know, for me, my clients to be taken care of properly. Yeah. I don't want, you know, to hear, oh, this problem, that problem, you know, because of this, I couldn't get the mortgage. But you're the guy I always comes with, oh, Aditya, don't worry. I take care of it. And there was the challenge. And that even sometimes you don't even tell that challenge. Yeah. Because that personality is fabulous. Like if you're someone want to become a mortgage agent, that's the kind of guy you gotta become. Instead of saying, hey, I do mortgages, if you need any help, call me. You didn't do that. You said like, I, I, I wanna take you out for lunch. Just, you know, get to know. Because it's not a one-time transaction, right? Yeah. The thing is, I need to know you. Yeah. You need to know me. Till we know each other, we it's hard. That needs to be trust in a transaction. Exactly. And uh, without you knowing, you trusting me also means your clients are trusting you. Exactly. Right? So. And you know, this is the point I want you guys to drive uh, home. So. If you're getting into sales, any kind of job or anything, don't try to just ask for a favor. Get to know people. If you need to take them out for lunch, dinner, you, know, you know, if you know someone can help you with anything, offer that service value uh, instead of like you know just a hey i need help from you i need business no one is going to do nowadays you know at least uh i never respond even for those texts now honestly after the ride i think i love audi too audi s5 i enjoyed it uh, but as a family man i still will stick to the tesla family <laughs> that's just my opinion what which one do you like which car do you like audi or tesla let me know in the comments below which one would you buy if you have a choice um with that you know i really enjoyed the story of uh, how aditya is making out now you know the mindset um the, the growth um the efforts he's putting into his career um, you know in the video he also mentioned like you know now he's grossing at least every month uh, over ten thousand dollars per month um, that is just in the first year alone because you know that's what makes you uh, successful you know that's what make you to make good living if you are um, with the right mindset and connect with people and deliver the best you can and that's what I see in this guy so with that also he's coming as a guest on our uh, June 16th, the live Freedom Investor Meetup. And also we have another guest, a special guest, you know, if you have seen my other video here, if you haven't checked it out, Amina, who is also an immigrant, came to country five years ago. Now he's crushing it big, multi-families, 300 plus units in two and a half years. So he's gonna be a guest as well. You know, come connect with us, ask this wonderful young people how they are making this happen, how you could do the same thing as well. So make sure to buy the ticket. It's a small fees just for the food and the volunteer, you know, we are donating for a good cause. So if you wanna be part of it, and also, you know, for our YouTube audience, you have a 50% coupon code in the description. With that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share with the people who are thinking of getting their mortgage license or real estate license. You know, this, might, this video might inspire them to do well in their life. So don't keep it to yourself, share it with others so we all can grow together. With that, signing off. Take care.